Joe Downs for the Aces instant replay post game report where the UE men have just knocked off Anderson nine to nothing to open up their regular season. It was a game that saw UE have plenty of opportunities early and often and they did cash in on them. Let's go to the highlights. This was a mismatch of a matchup with the Aces just thankful to have the Ravens in town after a contract mix up forced Oakland City to bow out earlier. Still, head coach Marshall Ray's team didn't take this Division Three squad lightly. It started just 10 minutes in with Simon Waver setting up Ian McGrath for the icebreaker. Ten minutes later, Arlick Natabana's howitzer gets turned back, but the pride of Jasper, Caleb Williams, is there to hammer home the rebound to nothing aces. Then with under 10 minutes to halftime, freshman sensation Adam Snow begins a big opening night for him, tallying the first goal of his college career. Zach Blades follows that up with a blast to the far post, making it 4 0 Evansville. Just 22 ticks later, the Adam Snow Blizzard picks up steam as he bangs one home off the roof of the net 5 0 UE. Then, with just over 10 seconds left before Orange Wedges, fellow freshman Sam Bonanno sits up Snow for a hat trick in just the first half of the first game of his career, and it's 6 0 aces at the break. Another freshman connection opens the scoring in the second stanza with Bonanno hooking up Luis Rojas for the first tally of his college career, and it's 7 0 aces. Then Bonanno caps a four assist night with the first tally of his college career. Ben Weber would tack on one more as Evansville wins big nine to nothing. After the game, I caught up with head coach Marshall Ray and some of the guys to talk about this big blowout on opening night. First of all, I want to thank Anderson for coming down to play us. We were in a situation uh, for about three weeks ago where a team dropped out that we thought we were going to have miscommunication on the scheduling issue, so Anderson was nice enough to come down and give us a game tonight. We worked on some things from the IEPUI game. I didn't think we were taking enough space, finding balls in the midfield and playing through the lines, and we were able to do that early this evening and keep the ball moving. And uh, Most importantly, we kept everyone healthy and got guys a lot of minutes tonight, which was good for us, um, You know, and hopefully we're going to be fresh and, and ready to go once we get on the bus in the morning. Did you expect, I mean, to have that kind of a result? Uh, your first half of your uh, college first game? Oh, uh, no. Hat trick was the last thing I expected. I just wanted to come on and compete. I mean, of course, my number one goal was to score a goal, but I mean, to get a hat trick, couldn't be more excited, honestly. Adam's a goal scorer. He came in off the bench. He's going to be somebody as, as he grows into his role with us and becomes accustomed to the college game as a freshman. Is uh, Hopefully, we'll see more and more minutes, but he's a finisher, and I think you saw that this evening. Is that something that you came into, you know, because uh, Marshall said he recruited you as a goal scorer? Is that something you you thought about, you wanted to, you know, prove yourself early? Yeah, definitely. I wanted to come in and prove myself as best of I, that I could. I, Show them that I can score some goals and go compete in a collegiate game, but this is definitely more than I expected. I think it's a it's a big confidence booster for him, and I think uh, that'll kind of get the season rolling for him. Hopefully, um, uh, hopefully we can have him score in some bigger games. Uh, that's that's the key. Um, but yeah, all the best for him, and uh, hats off to him. Uh, it's it's exciting. Uh, I th I'm thinking back to my freshman year and and how exciting it is to score, and for him to have a hat trick. That's it's awesome for him. But your opening tally. I mean, obviously you got the you kind of broke through first. Uh, Waiver set you up nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Simon's uh, he's a big player on the wing for us. He gets up and down the line very well. And, uh, once I saw him get past that guy, I knew that I could sneak in back, and if Simon played an early ball, then I'd be there, and sure enough, he did, and put it right out in front of me. All I had to do was tap it in, so props to him. I mean, it was, he did all the work, and I just tapped it in. So Now comes the hard part. Head coach Ray and the squad take the road for the first time this season Sunday as they take on a different kind of opponent as D1 Marshall from the Mighty Mac are waiting down in Huntington. For the Aces Post Game Report, I'm Joe Dan. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.